I just love the way new sneakers smell. What's going on guys? This is your boy K Slay. And I'm back. And I got some fire for you guys. And this time I got my hands on a pair that's been anticipated. Well, the whole collection has been an anticipated. People are going crazy for them. People are paying tremendous amount of prices for these. They got the... It's basically... 10 pairs of shoes, I guess it consists of the uh, Air Jordans, 1s, Air Max 97s, Air Max 90s, Hyper Dunks, um, Prestos, Vapor Max. It was a collection, they call it, they, they're calling it the 10. I guess they all actually dropped on November 9th. I know there was a few other releases. I guess half of them were released first out of the 10 for the first 5, and then the other 5 were released. But... As I see on different sites, they were all released on different days. I actually got my hands on a pair of one of the Off-White Virgil Abloh collections. I guess that's how you say his name. But if I said it wrong, I know you guys are going to roast me down in the comments. But I did, I did actually get a chance to grab a pair from the collection. You guys are wondering which one. Let me just show you the box real quick. Boom. It says Nike Swish. On the top of the box, brown box all around. It has the uh, the off white Nike shoe box, Oregon, USA. That's where uh, the Nike, I guess, one of the Nike headquarters is located. Beaverton, Beaverton, Oregon, and on the front. As you guys can probably see, it says the 10 Nike Air Max 97 OGs. Retail price, I guess, if you guys could read, if you guys could catch it, was 190. Size 9, which is my size, with Air Maxes, with Air Max 97s, and also Air Max 95s are, 95s are also uh, always. Go a half a size up. I might go to the size, which is eight and a half, but for better comfort, I go a half a size up. If you guys are wondering, um, colorway is white, clone, ice blue. Like I said, suggested retail price is one ninety. I didn't pay one ninety. I actually had to pay resale. The sneaker guys never do show me love, no hate. Hopefully one day they do, and I do actually get a chance to win a pair for retail, even if it's Yeezys or whatever it may be. But, shout out to my guys down at the Volt Lifestyle, here in Lynn, Mass. Um, shout out to my guy Scott, he grabbed the pair. You know me, the hype he sent me. I just had to do it. Sorry guys. Well, I know you guys don't care. You probably, why am I apologizing to you guys? But, I'm sorry I guess for spending the amount I did. You know, but they did show me love. Resale prices are going for anywhere, I guess on this particular pair. I seen up to six to seven hundred. If you got it and you really want it, do your thing. But if you get a chance to grab a pair, if you want a pair, congrats. Happy for you. Well, I'm really hating, but you know, whatever. I'm happy for you. But let's get into the shoe. I'm doing a lot of talking. So, as you can see by the box, the box is kind of like reversed. This is like this Nike. That orange with the check is how actually all the Air, Ma Air Max boxes come. So they actually put it on this side, which I think is pretty dope. Um, you see here on the paper, um, pretty dope. Has the off-white stripes. Has a pair of Jordans on it, look like an Air Jordan 2. A lot of paper, like always. Woo! I'm drawing this glowing. I'm drawing this godly. Hold on. Let me get them out the box. Dope. Mm. You know how to get it, give it the sniff. So they actually do come with two extra shoelaces, a black pair, and with the orange tip, which say shoelaces on them. And then a, um another white pair. It's kind of like a like the flat type. These are more roundish. Throw that back in here. And these joints. Woo! Fire! Boom! 
That was my thumbnail. Let me give you a quick 360 like I do. So, let's grab the left pair. Like I said, these are the off-white Virgil Abloh, whatever, however you say his name, collab with Nike. Like I said, there are actually 10 pairs of from the collection. This is one of them, the Air Max 97 OGs. As you can see here, we have that all-white, or as they're calling it, white, white clone. These joints are fire. So let's get into the shoe. As you can see here, it has that off-white tag, which is off-white is kind of famous for. Has it on a bunch of their clothes, which I'm definitely going to keep on the shoe. I don't know if some people take them off. Whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat, do your thing. I'm keeping them on. Call me a hype beast or whatever. Um, white shoelaces, which also say shoelaces on them with the, uh, with the uh, green tips. On the tongue, says Nike here on the side. The tongue is crazy. Has like a mesh type of see-through material, which I think is dope. Um, has the writing, has the writing, which is also on the box, off white for Nike. Air Max 97, Beaver 10, Oregon, USA, 1997. And on the other side says air with the black check. Had a bit of orange on here. Which kind of you could lift up. Yeah, you could lift up. It's kind of, I'm not going to say see-through. But you can't see inside like on the top layer. I don't know if the light, the camera catches it. But it's kind of see-through. I thought this part of the shoe would probably hurt my feet. I mean, it might eventually at some point. But I tried it on and it and it, and it didn't hurt. But, like I said, after time, it might. Has a pull tab on it. Um, has, like, a stitching. Like, swivels. Has the, like I said, white shoelaces. It has a little tag here that says, made in Vietnam. Woo, woo. Um, bottom. I guess that, I guess the bottom is is that ice blue which to me it just looks kind of creamy but whatever I guess is that like I said it's the ice blue has a, a Nike check and orange dope like I said all around the shoe is a pretty dope shoe pull out the inside regular paper shoe tree on the inside it does say 10 with the off-white X going through um, has a bit of um green on here, like stitching. So, like I said, this shoe is just reconstructed. It's like, that's what they did on, I guess, the whole collection. He kind of, Virgil kind of, like, reconstructed. He did his little, like, pieces of of the shoe. Like, like they just crazy. Like I said, there's a bunch of pairs. If you guys, YouTube, I know you guys probably seen a whole bunch of them. Like I said, Air Jordan 1s and a bunch of them. 10. It's 10 in the collection. That's why they're calling it the 10. So on the same thing pretty much with on this shoe. It says basically the same thing. Um that clear air bubble. Inside pretty much the same thing. Like I said, this is all around to me a pretty dope shoe. I'm glad I, I got a chance. I'm glad I was able to cop a pair. Um I'm not gonna say to me this is the best out of the collection, but it is the top three for me. I am into my Air Max 97. I got, you know, I got into it. I got a couple of other pairs. You know, the only thing that kind of throws me off with the shoe, which I guess Nike could have did a better job, but the lettering is kind of already fading off. I don't know if that's happening to everybody's pair, but the price for the price I paid, that shouldn't be happening. Well, I don't think Nike care about my resale prop, my own. Um, Resale prices or my resale problems, they don't care about it. As long as they get the initial 190, that's what they care. But for this to be an off-white collab, I believe that that writing should not be fading off like it is. But it is what it is. I guess as a shoe, you know, as you wear it, eventually it's going to happen. Um, comment below if you grab the pair. 
and it's happening on your shoe, let me know. I don't know if it's like I said, I don't know if it's happening to everyone, but on sh on this shoe, it's definitely happening. So it is what it is. I'm gonna get a couple B-roll shots of the shoe for you. Um, like I said, comment below. Let me know how you feel about the pair. If there's something you you know, if you went out and grabbed it, or if you just didn't like it, comment. It is what it is. Um, and if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. And if you're a regular to my channel, if you're part of the Slay, F Slay Kicks fam, hit that notification button on the top right. Well, if you be watching, I guess this will be a top right. Hit that bell, and it does notify you when I do post videos. Um, Like I said, I'm going to get B-roll shots. Thank you for tuning in. And, you know, this is not a plug. This is not, they're not paying me for it. But I will be throwing this uh, social. I will be throwing this social on the bottom of my shoe. Because I do want to preserve these, like I said. I didn't pay retail, so I'm trying to keep these fresh as I can. You know, white sneakers, man, they get dirty quick. But I will be applying this. Shout out to Rejuvenator. Rejuvenator. Shout out to them. I actually um have put these on a couple of pair of my shoes. They do last. Um, the only thing I say is use a nice heat, like a heat gun, I guess that's what they call it. I use a blow dryer. I don't think it was affected as, you know, it would be if you use a heat gun. So I recommend when you put these on, just follow direction and step by step on how you apply it. Like I said, this they're not paying me for this. I just like to use them. So shout out to Rejuvenator. But again, thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, yeah, it's your boy K Slay. Peace. These haters on my body shake them all